दादा दादा
Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <laughs> Give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. the photo op later i'll request the entire star cast one more photo op okay great let's do this photo op one more photo op we'll have one Center stage. So our star cast and our entire team will be back. Good evening, warm welcome. We are not used to this kind of uh, trailer launches and it's uh, so exciting to be here to do it in a different way and uh, cannot be more rapt that we are launching a film which is to do with stock market and we are here at this iconic place. Uh, this, this journey sort of started variously for me. You know, Nikhil, I remember, uh, spoke very warmly about this film. We spoke about it. 
there was a lot of tossing and turning around and then you know as destiny has it that whole journey had to wind through various corners and finally it had to complete here and here we are nikhil and i'm happy that we are starting this off uh, you know few things always resonate with the viewers uh, especially indian viewers you know one of them is of course cricket the other is bollywood part of which we are here and the third one which has not often been tapped is actually money or stocks you know so here we are and i think every time as a studio head or as a producer i see a film which i can begin by saying india's first story about i'm already feeling good you know so here is india's first film which is based on the backdrop of stock market but don't you worry people who are seeing it out there and saying yes stocks meri samajh se bahar hain because it's it's just a background what is exciting is it's a great human story it's how a common man connects with his dreams and how he sees his dreams in the stock market and what really happens so it's got the stock market but it's got the other vital ingredient which is a smashing story the other thing i want to mention is uh, and these are two different people i've seen today both are making a debut and i think anybody making a debut it's extra special for us at y comedy in motion pictures this is our 112th film but every film feels like a debut and the two people making debut are the director gorav gorav chala wish you the very best i haven't seen i haven't seen anyone as chilled out at his debut as gorav he is not even looking nervous and you have at the other extreme <laughs> we know son rohan uh, wish you the wish you the very best as well in your journey and uh, may this go far and i have always got this tough job of standing between uh, you know the gentleman who has spoken before me and the trailer so i'm going to make it short and uh, very soon i hope you'll enjoy the trailer thank you so much thank you mr andari i'm sure we are all very very excited to see the trailer i would now like to invite the gorgeous radhika apte the beautiful chitrangada singh and um, our talented rohan mehra welcome please come forward forward yes gorav tell us about this movie you love to hear uh, what the movie is all about oh, i just saw it all about that <laughs> so yeah <laughs> okay. Oh, it's that. It's about making money, paisa, dhanda, rokro. It's about that. It's about the big bad world of business. But it's about what happens when you cross lines. बड़ा आदमी बनने के लिए line cross करनी पड़ती है. वो picture की tag line है. And how far will you go to to make it big? आपको plane चाहिए जो है. आपको वो Bentley चाहिए जो खराब हो गई थी आज. पर वो चाहिए तो आपको क्या-क्या करना पड़ेगा और कहाँ तक आप जाओगे? So that's what the film is about. Is it uh, similar to the Wolf of Wall Street? Not at all. Ke? Please see. If it was, it would be ten minutes only in India. <laughs> okay. All right, Seth. Tell me a little bit about your character in this movie. Um, well, first of all, I want to thank Nikhil for offering and giving me this amazing part. It is one of the most special parts I've had in my career. I play a Gujarati businessman um, called Shakun Kothari, who is. very successful very ruthless um and slightly dangerous okay so that was lots of fun um this film uh, and this role I, i mean it's about the stock market but i remember speaking to nikhil at one point saying there's many films on the stock market which i have not been able to understand you know uh because some of the numbers and figures yeah. are a bit much for me so he told me that it's not about that um it it doesn't matter whether you understand the stock market or not it's about good and bad it's about crossing lines it's yeah. it could have been about you know cricket or anything uh, yeah. you know it could be a sports film it's just a a metaphor really yeah. money and 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 the world uh, and a good one so anyway sticking to my part this was a really tough job you know to to kind of have a gujarati accent without making it a caricature with uh, to make it real uh to make it cool yeah um and that is done very well i don't know no, 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 I, i had a really good time doing it and and that's pretty much what the part is dialogue ho jaye movie ka it is so gujarati I, style i think better in the trailer <laughs> <laughs> no no 
He'll say it. He'll say afterwards. Yeah. Get to everybody, then we'll make him say sure. nice right <laughs> Radhika, how was your experience? Um, well, actually, um, you know, I think uh, I, I've, I've been in this industry for a little bit of time, but I've always um, struggled with being called uh, niche or indie yeah, in many ways. And I cannot thank Nikhil, <laughs> uh, Madhu Manisha enough and Gaurav, of course, for having faith in me. And um, I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to be a part of Bazaar. And I've never played a part like this before. It's Priya, she's a trader, stockbroker. She's a, a urban girl. She's, yeah. she's like, she, she knows her sh things. <laughs> <laughs> she knows her, you know, stuff. And uh, extremely independent and ambitious. And I've never played a part like this before. And it was absolutely one of the most wonderful experiences to work with all of you. Uh, thank you so much. And I'm the, I'm the man uh, of the hour t uh, today. I, it was such a pleasure. And as, you, as, as they said, he's like an unassuming, humble uh, boy. And uh, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Chitrangda. So tell me this, um, what did you love about your character? And you know, we are sharing the screen with all of them. How exciting was this? Um, I was the last one to come on board, I think. <laughs> like 10 days before the shoot. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I think they were looking for a Mandira uh, who's playing Seth's, uh, you know, character's wife in the film. And, uh, you know, so it's, she was probably the, I, I don't want to give much away, but she was, a, she was probably the mildest of them all. And I still had to have enough presence and make it felt, you know, through yeah. the story. So that's pretty much what Gaurav and Nikhil both wanted me to do. <laughs> but I'm so happy to be part of this film, to work with Sev, Radhika, and I mean, Rohan, I didn't get much, but whatever that I've seen, he's fabulous. And it's been a great journey, and more than anything else, I think the spirit behind it, yes. and Gaurav, for, you know, his first film, I think uh, the amount of excitement that we would feel on the sets with him around, it was just lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Believe outing. me, like nervous, nervous excitement, that energy was great, yeah. Sure, please. So I just want to tell a really funny story, how chilled out Gaurav is. So we started the shoot with a song, and it was like this song where you have to look a certain way. And I broke my nose two days before the shoot. And I had this swollen nose, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I was freaking out. So I called Gaurav, I said, so uh, I broke my nose. Ah, chill now, nah. we'll do, we'll see what we can do with makeup. I swear. Got fixed his makeup. <laughs> it got fixed. But this is how chilled out. He's the best. He's the Mr. Cool. Yeah, you yeah. Are yeah. The best. And the other times when you fought and he said, no, no, that's not <laughs> Rohan, so as your debut, was this challenging? Are you no yeah. nervous? Uh, yes. Yeah, give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves this. Before, before I say anything, I must say uh, thank you to everyone. It's been lovely hearing all the nice things you have to say about me. But before that, um, Gaurav is not chilled out. He is a tyrant on set. He scared the living hell out of me every single day. But he got the best out of me. And I think that's, if the role was challenging and if the yeah. story was challenging, I think having someone as lovely and as great as him to direct me every single day and have, having great producers like the ones we see just ahead of us, that made everything so much better. Honestly, so it was definitely challenging, but I had great people around me. And of course, this lovely cast. I mean, dream cast, dream role, dream production, dream film. I'm just really happy to be here. That's fantastic. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You know, while I was coming um, to the venue, I was just thinking if you all were investing in stock market, I'm sure you are. Um, and if the stock market does really well, what is the song, Bollywood song that you would sing? Oh. Yes, any Bollywood song. Ah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> what song? Well, hopefully it'll be the song in our film. Yeah, and that'll which one? Be, uh, yeah, which song? Uh, that's the one which everyone will be singing. So that is? you guys have to, it's, it's coming soon. So it's going to be great. And everyone what will be What is the song's that. name? It's called Billionaire, believe it or not. Billionaire, nice. We love that. We love that. So thank you so much. And I'm going to invite a few more dignitaries on stage to join you. Uh, could we have Ajit on stage, Ajit Andhari, Nikhil Arwani, Ajay Kapoor, Dhanush, 
Gaurav K. Chawla is already on the stage. <laughs> Manisha Arwani. Madhu Bojwani. Could we have the chairs a little forward? Yeah, so that the mid. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, the house is open for questions. We'll have the mic passed around. Do we have the mic? An extra mic? Thank you. Yeah? So, I request you to please keep your questions pertaining to this movie only. Yeah? Gaurav? Hi, Seth. Seth, oh. hi. Here. Hi. Uh, were you a bit uh, skeptical in the beginning that the film should be close to reality? You know, that the businessmen should not say that this doesn't happen. So did you all have some meeting, some uh, traders and businessmen? Of course. I think we worked very hard on this script. And we sat on lots of things and said, you know, that people watching should um, have a sense of reality. And, you know, the things that happen should be things that do happen. And there are a lot of exciting things that happen in the stock market, but that should not be, uh, you don't have to be a stockbroker to understand this film. It should be a film for the regular audience, and it should have thrills and excitement and all that sort of thing. Um, the film is, is like, a, is like a, a fable, a tale, you know. It can start with Once Upon a Time, and those are the best stories to me. And Mumbai is also a character, kind of a, a very, dystopian kind of, you know, uh, what's it called between heaven and hell? Uh, that, that, um, what's it, repeat the word with P. Yes, it's like a purgatory kind of situation with a guy on a roof who is going to commit suicide, you know, and the background music and the way this whole film has been made. It's on a very gut level um, and it's got a lot of class and a lot of depth and I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. But in answer to your question, um, yes, there was research and a lot of, lot of factual um, work has gone into making sure that uh, it's realistic. 